Hello and welcome to our uh, Eucharist uh, celebration for Wednesday, March 25th, as we celebrate the Feast of Annunciation of the Lord. So last week we celebrated St. Patrick and St. Joseph. Today, the, the feast of this week is, is the Feast of Annunciation. So uh, let us join together, praying, celebrating, uh, and we begin as we always do, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And as we enter into those mysteries, we center ourselves, we connect with God, we turn into God's love, into God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as another world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you always, must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you the sign. The virgin shall be, be, shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here, Here I am, Lord, Lord I, come I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings you sought not. Then I said, Behold, I come. Here, Here I am, Lord. Lord. I, come I come to do your will. will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will. O oh my God is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here, Here I, I am, Lord. Lord. I, I come, come to do your, your will. A reading from the letter to Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As it is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings. Holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated to the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, this is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. God on my mind, my lips, and in my heart. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of 
the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will God give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, just like I said at the beginning, today we celebrate uh, this wonderful feast, Annunciation of the Lord. We hear out Mary saying yes to the angel. And uh, that yes, that leap of faith really changed the salvation history. This is uh, an important moment. And uh, you know, I remember not that long ago, we actually uh, were there in Nazareth visiting with the group of the parish. It was just wonderful to be there uh, in that very place, you know, and, 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 and pray through the intercession of Mary and ask God's blessing upon all of us, you know, as, as a parish, as a community, uh, St. Francis of Assisi. Uh, I think, you know, as you listen to this uh, gospel passage, to the Word of God directed to us, I think it, it's, it's, it's very important to realize that, you know, that message of an angel you know, was presented to Mary, but in a sense it's also being presented to all of us today. And I think it's so important that we hear those words. Do not be afraid. I think this is so important. You know, as we experience this lockdown, as we experience this pandemic, as, as we try to make sense of everything that is happening, you know, I think those words are so important to hear. Do not be afraid. And that is the message of an angel from God to all of us. And just like Mary said yes, you know, we are to respond with hope, with faith, you know, to, to our invitations, you know, presented to God. Let us be like Mary, full of faith and hope, trusting God, that God will provide. And let us hear that message of an angel. Do not be afraid. And as we continue, we take a moment to pray for ourselves and those in need. We pray for the church, for people of faith around the world, for our shepherds, Pope Francis and Bishop Blaise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for the president, for those in authority at national and local levels. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our community, for all the people of St. Francis of Assisi Parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in a special way, during this time, we pray for all those affected in many different ways 
by the pandemic of coronavirus. Those who are sick, those who care for them, for their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, for our loved ones who passed away, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in a special way, through the intercession of Mary, as we celebrate her feast, we pray for all our intentions, those we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you know us, you know our needs. Listen to our prayers presented to you and grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. And pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and all of his church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, that so that she who was aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mystery of, of this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among us for our sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations may be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one choir of exaltation as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be brought for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, apostles, and all the saints, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And together we pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other that sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to this table. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof. The only say the word, my soul shall be. And let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mystery of your true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to e attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 You know, I know this is the, the feast day, and, uh, you know, uh, 
what we want to do is, is also ask Mary to intercede for us, uh, especially on her feast day. And so we pray together uh, for all of us, for the community of St. Francis, for, for our country, for, for, for the world, you know, for uh, this pandemic to, to end, for God to provide uh, uh, with the solution. As we say, Hail Mary, full of praise, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you for watching and praying with us. And once again, I want to invite you to check our website, our Facebook, download our parish app. Um, and just so you know, you know we are not, uh, not uh, you know, professionals here. Father Jay is right, right about to turn off the camera. So I say uh, good day to all of you. Happy feast. God bless you. Be well. Be safe.